Oh, hey, May. Hey, Dad. Hey. Can you help me out here? Yeah. You know, all these years of playing guitar, I just really never really understood how to read music. I was wondering if you can give me a hand. Oh, I totally can. All right, thanks. No problem. I'll help you with how to name notes on the table and bass clefs and notes on the ledger lines above or below the staff, how to name and write sharps and flats seen on the staff, and how an accidental carries through the whole bar and how it is cancelled. Naming notes in the treble clef. You're going to want to remember two sayings that will help you name the notes on the lines and spaces. For lines, every good boy deserves fudge. And for spaces, face. The saying for naming notes on the lines in treble clef is, as you know, every good boy deserves fudge. So, every good boy deserves fudge. The saying for naming the notes in spaces in the treble clef is face. F A C E. All together it follows the pattern of the seven bass notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. When naming notes in the bass clef, you will want to remember two sayings that will help you name the notes in the lines and spaces. For lines, good boys deserve fudge always, and for spaces, all cows eat grass. The saying for naming notes on the lines in the bass clef is, as you know, good boys deserve fudge always. Good boys deserve fudge always. The saying for naming the notes on the spaces in the bass clef is, all cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. Altogether, it follows the pattern of the seven bass notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. When naming the notes on a ledger line above the staff, you will take the highest note on the staff and follow the alphabet up to the note you're looking for. Say we had a note on this ledger line. We would take the F, which is the highest note on the staff, and follow the alphabet up to the note we're looking for. So this space would be a G, this line would be an A, this space would be a B, and the note we are looking for would be a C. When naming the notes on a ledger line below the staff, you will take the lowest note on the staff and follow the alphabet backwards um, towards the note you are looking for, much like the method for finding a note above the staff. Say we had a note on this ledger line. We would take the E, which is the lowest note on the staff, and count down towards the note we're looking for. So E, this space would be a D, this line would be a C, this space would be a B, and this line would be an A. So the note we are looking for is an A. When naming sharps and flats found in the staff, find the note or notes with the accidental. The accidental will be on your left hand side of the note and find what the note is. The sayings you just learned will help you find what note the accidental is beside. When writing the sharp or flat, the note will come first and the accidental will come second. So when you are writing this B flat, the B will come first and the accidental will come second. Like so. When writing the accidental on the staff, the accidental will come in front, or in other words, your left hand side of the note that is intended to be sharp or flat. So if we wanted a C sharp in our music, we would write the sharp directly beside the note. When a sharp or flat is written in a bar, this sharp will continue, this sharp or flat will continue throughout the bar until the bar finishes. When the next bar comes, the note will return to being natural unless otherwise stated with an accidental. So if we wanted an E flat throughout one bar, the first E will have the accidental of a flat until this E will stay flat until the end of the bar and the next bar, the rest of the E's throughout the piece will be natural unless otherwise stated with a sharper flat. 
If the key signature states that a note is a sharp or flat, it will continue to be sharp or flat throughout the entire piece unless stated on such, on such note that it is an accidental. So this note would be an F, and this note would be a C, and then the note that follows that has that little thing that looks like a little B, mm -hmm. that is a flat. Right. And that means that that note will become flat. And that note would carry on through the bar until the next bar comes and then the note will become natural again. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Yeah. All right, yeah, thanks for helping me. No problem. All right.